Hello everyone, and welcome back. Or if it's your first time here, then just welcome. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Ment Hats of Dune, the second installment of the Great Schools of Trilogy. Now, um, I already took a look at the first installment back when I was um, doing a little, doing like a theme month around the series. Yes, I... I'm uh, I love that I love the Dune series that much that I dedicated a whole month of it to that. Thinking about dedicating and doing another theme month later on. Thought about doing Halo, doing a Halo Vember, but that's kind of I've been busy with off, you know, stuff. And uh, uh, yeah, I was thinking about. Uh, I mean, uh, never mind. Anyway, um. Um, <clears throat> and there's another series that, uh, another bunch of books by an author I'm gonna take a look at, but yeah, but back to this subject at hand. Mentats of Dune. <clears throat> Gilbertus Albans has founded the Mentat School, a place where humans can learn the efficient technique of thinking machines. But Gilbertus walks an uneasy line between his own convictions and compromises in order to survive the anti-technology Butlerian fanatics. Led by the madman Manfred Toronto and his swordmaster Anari Idaho, superior, <clears throat> I mean, sorry, the anti-technology fanatics led by the mad, mad Manfred Toronto and his swordmaster Anari Idaho. Mother Superior Raquella attempts to rebuild her sisterhood school on Wallach 9 with her most talented and ambitious student, Valia Harkonnen, who has, other go who has another goal, to exact revenge on Vorian Atreides, the legendary hero of the Jihad, whom she blames for her family's downfall. Meanwhile, Joseph Venport conducts his own war against the Butlerians, the Venhold's spacing fleet controls nearly all commerce thanks to the superior mutated navigators that Venport has created. And he and he places a ruthless embargo on any planet that accepts Manfred Toronto's anti-technology pledge, hoping to survive, hoping to starve them into submission. But fanatics rarely surrender easily. <clears throat> in fact, I in fact I think I remember a funny line in the book itself where Erasmus says like it's like curious how like despite being so irrational like fanatics of whatever can also be so completely predictable <clears throat> that, 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 that was kind of funny and, um, the Mentats, the Navigators and the Sisterhood strive to improve the human race but each group knows that as Butlerian fanaticism grows stronger the battle will be to choose the path of humanity's future, whether to embrace civilization or to plunge into an endless dark age. <clears throat> now, um, yeah, anyway, um, again, like I stated this before, that, um, the whole, uh, Great Schools of Trilogy, <clears throat> is actually a sequel to the Legends of Dune trilogy and you know a very needed trilogy in my opinion because excuse me you know like there's all sorts of these questions about like I mean if you read uh, the Hunters of Dune and Sandworms of Dune you know that um <clears throat> they eventually do run into another Spoiler alert, the uh, machine empire led by Omnius again. And, you know, if you, and if you remember by the <clears throat> end of, uh, of the Legends of, of Trilogy, you know, you know, they, they were pretty much destroyed, you know. Omnius was, you know, gone. You know, Erasmus was, was deactivated by, Gilbertus and, you know, taken out of the city and it was all about, like, you know, like, how does, um, like, like, even though, um, it established the Space and Guild, it, we still don't really know how they got their monopoly, you know, up, though we have an idea, 
we have no idea how uh, you know Erasmus and Omnius came back together into contact because you know Erasmus was a uh, signal when we saw him you know just beaming out of the into space <clears throat> um, and uh, yeah <clears throat> And of, and of course the Harkonnens were like really taken down several pegs and uh, yeah so the whole Great Schools trilogy is really necessary and uh, and you know like if you remember and on my last review of the last of the the first book of this trilogy the sisterhood you know I really enjoyed it you know you know, I found all the characters really great, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, and even now as I'm reading this, I still find, you know, all of the, the you know, Valia Harkonnen and the, um, and, uh, you know, Vorin, you know, to be her own interesting in her own way, you know, the whole Butlerian Jihad war, or almost civil war kind of thing going down was really interesting, you know. I even kind of found, like, Monford, Manford Toronto for all of his fanatical, you know, craziness in his own way kind of interesting, like, how he constantly, like, justifies his use of, like, different technologies, but also, like, he's, you know, he does still, you know, accept, like, his own little handicap of not having legs, you know. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, I, honestly, I find uh, Vorian Atreides to be one of, the mo one of the most interesting, very interesting because of his, like, really long life that he's got via the extension thing from uh, his dad, like, life extension treatment. And he's, like, living hundreds of years, and, uh, yeah. <clears throat> you know, he's, like, I thought he was, like, one of the more interesting, like, immortal-type characters, although many of these semi-immortal or immortal characters have their own interesting stuff going on, and, yeah. Anyway, um, so far I give the, uh, this, uh, total, uh, my personal score of 3 out of 5. Recommended if you've read the first one, obviously. And I still keep my original score... And as for my score on the overall trilogy as a whole, I give this of the overall uh, great schools of uh, trilogy as a whole. I give this. I'm gonna say a. Uh, I'll now that I think about it, I don't remember what my uh, score on the first book was, but yeah, it's, overall the my score of the overall trilogy would be once again a three out of five. Recommended if. Because there's so many things that you'd have to uh, have read the uh, Legends of Dune to really understand, you know. And, you know, that's pretty much the entire reason why this trilogy was made, is that it seems like to answer the questions that were raised by, uh, you know, the last two, is so like... To raise, like, to answer the questions of, like, the, that I brought up earlier, you know, but about the last two books of the main series and the, you know, the Legends trilogy. But, <clears throat> and uh, it's still a, uh, either way, I like, it's still a fantastic read. I liked it. And I look forward to seeing the great school the um the last installment of the trilogy it was a uh, swords masters of dune or swordsmen of dune or something uh yeah anyway um next time i'm going to be taking a look at another installment of another series that i really enjoyed a while back the uh saga of the seven sons is getting a sequel trilogy and Here's the first installment. Until then, see you later. Have a nice day. Please support your local libraries and bookstores and yeah. <clears throat>